Hey, what's up everybody? It's Min, back with another sneaker video. Today we're looking at this sneaker right here. This is the Air Jordan 5 in the stealth colorway. The Jordan 5 is one of my favorite silhouettes. It's one of the most comfortable Jordans for my feet. And so I have a particular fondness for the fives. And this is a very clean uh, edition of the Jordan 5. I really actually appreciate clean Jordan 5s a lot. And I had some big expectations for this sneaker, but unfortunately there are some issues, at least with my particular pair. The first thing that I'll talk about is the upper material. To me, the upper material is the deal breaker for these sneakers. This is such a clean colorway. Uh, so what makes up for it, in my opinion, is the quality of the materials. Now the quality of the materials is decent. It's fine. It's, it's average. I think it's a little bit better than the OG fives that were released last year, but here's my issue with the uppers. Uh, they're sourcing the leather from different places, and that means the tumble texture is inconsistent throughout the whole sneaker. So different panels have different degrees of that tumble texture. For example, on this left sneaker, the medial eyelet mid panel is very, very tumbled. The heel area, the back of the heel is very, very tumbled, but the upper ankle area has almost no tumbled texture to it which makes it look really, really weird to me. And that's inconsistent with the right sneaker because the right sneaker does have an upper uh, material that is very, very tumbled. And so when you're comparing toe boxes even, and also like the mud guard panel, um, they're all inconsistent. And so that really detracts from the overall look of the sneaker in my opinion, when you have such a clean colorway, when it's all white, uh, the material doesn't have anything to hide behind. It doesn't hide behind like pops of color or anything like that. And so I think that is an issue for me. I get it. Uh, I think my expectations for a sneaker like this were a little bit too high. When you're mass producing sneakers like this, you're going to have to source from various uh, places for that leather. And unfortunately, it shows on a sneaker like this. The second thing that I noticed is that I actually don't like this blue sock liner, especially when you contrast that to the back of the tongue, which is black. Um, I wish that it was all one color. I thought, I wish it would either be all blue or all black, but now that I've said that, I actually would have preferred a black sock liner in the black back of the tongue. I think that would have looked really, really nice. That would have contrasted well with the gray on the midsoles. Um, and so I'm not a big fan of this blue sock liner. The third thing that I notice is the black Jumpman on the heel. Um, I, that seems a little bit inconsistent to me as well because you have a blue Jumpman on the tongue as well as a blue Jumpman on the outsole. So why not three blue Jumpmans? The third thing that I notice is that on the outsole, you have this blue hit on the top of the outsole. I think that's fine. I think it looks fine, but I definitely remember that that is not the case on the OG Stealths. The fifth thing that I noticed about the sneaker is the netting, the rubber netting on the medial and lateral side, as well as on the tongue. I really, really like this. It's it's a very, very light, icy shade, and it it is a very subtle, but very sophisticated contrast with the all white upper. I really, really like that. Also the sixth thing, the rubber eyelets also have that same light shade of gray and blue. I think that's a really, really nice touch. They're not white. They definitely have a little bit of that gray blue in there. And I think that is a very, very nice touch. The seventh thing is the shark teeth. I really like what they did here with the shark teeth. Probably my favorite part of the sneaker. Uh, it has that speckled blue paint on top of the black and that really adds a nice little touch to it. It's both on the shark teeth as well as on the triangle um, on the medial side of the midsole. The eighth thing that I'll quickly mention is that the craftsmanship is not bad on this particular sneaker, at least mine. Uh, I don't see any glaring defects or flaws in the build. I very much appreciate that because I know that these sneakers are made in mass and so sometimes you're going to get inconsistencies, you're going to get some flaws, you're going to get glue stains, things like that. But my particular pair uh, looks very, very clean throughout the entire sneaker. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Air Jordan 5 Stealth. Overall, you can't go wrong with the Jordan 5. This is a very, very clean colorway of the Jordan 5. I think it's a great summer 
sneaker. Uh, my issues with it is the inconsistency in the tumbled leather, as well as some of the, the color choices on different aspects of the sneaker. But overall, it's a sneaker that I'm not mad at. I think it's average when it comes to quality. I think it's a little bit above average when it comes to craftsmanship. And it's something that I wouldn't mind wearing this summer. What are your thoughts on this sneaker? Were you able to cop? What do you think about the tumbled leather? What do you think about the different color choices that they use on the different panels? Are you not into the fact that it's not the same sneaker as the original Jordan 5 retros? Leave a comment below. Hit that like button if you like videos like this. If you want to support the channel, consider subscribing. And I'll catch you next time in the next video. Peace, friends.